Hey everybody and welcome back to Hatch. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and this is going to be multi-hooping. Everything you wanted to know about multi-hooping but we're afraid to ask. And uh, we are going to do this in two parts. This is the first video, part one. The second video, we are going to take whatever design we choose, take it to the machine and stitch it out and multi-hoop it. And we're going to go and figure out everything there is to know about it. So before you even start multi-hooping and using the multi-hooping tool here that Hatch provides, that's actually really cool. Uh, we need to talk about the designs and you have to make a few changes in your software for it to work. So when you bring in a design, now there's two types of designs. There's the native EMB files that you edit. Those ones will work better than stitch files. So a stitch file is made for stitching. A stitch file will be the files that you purchase from a company or whatever. You don't get the native file that they use to create it. You get a stitch file. Now this stitch file is a gorgeous design from K Creative Kiwi that uh, is stitched, designed perfectly. Now this is not going to be good for multi-hooping and I'm going to tell you guys why afterwards but I'm going to first explain over here. So object type. Now it's just one thing. Now we know a lot of times for stitch files when you bring them in there's like a ton and this one doesn't have it and this one will not multi-hoop. If you try to lay the hoops over it won't go green or black or anything like that. So the problem is right here. It doesn't really see it as objects so you can't really multi-hoop because it just sees it at one in one piece one piece right here so hatch is saying to you well it's one piece how can i how can i do anything else with it i need objects to work with so we have to change that so let's close this and i'll show you guys what to change go to software settings go to embroidery setting and the first one is what we want to look at under design. So recognize stitch file and the default is leave stitches as individual stitches. So Hatch read the whole design as one stitch, individual stitch, running stitches. It saw the whole thing. So we want convert stitches into object shapes. And that's the first thing we need to do. The second thing we need to do is right click on the hoops and we want to go to multi hooping and add registration marks on output. That's going to be very important and medium. We'll hit it in the middle. You guys will have to probably tweak stuff a little bit, but those are the two major things. Now, when we bring in the design, so open recent and here it is, now look at what Hatch does. It brings it in as separate objects and true to the form of a stitch file, there's a ton of them. So if you only see one object, then you are not going to be able to do it. Start and stop right here. So now let's discuss why this is not a good candidate for multi-hooping. Now that we can multi-hoop it, so just because you can multi-hoop doesn't mean that you should. So the first reason is this is a continual design. It, it was created by Creative Kiwi and she did a fantastic job of making this design so it's in one piece. So the problem is it starts, you know, here, for example, and it continues all the way over to here and around. Even though Hatch reads it, see how far it goes? We can keep doing this. So it's, it's really difficult to, you know, set up the hoop this way because there's so many pieces in it and it's so continual. You can do it. I'll show you that you can do it, but it's really hard to do. So I would have thought that adding this hoop 
would make everything green, but you see there's pieces missing, so you can add more hoops and move them over. Now I've almost got that one. It seems to be missing some of these little stitches, so I add another hoop and I've almost got it all. And if you go to calculate hoopings, it's gonna tell you not all objects are covered. So it's really kind of a hassle. I'm sure if you sat there and uh, picked out or you know, did something with all of these that these black parts are not covered by the hoops. It's just far too complicated. It is just simply not gonna work. So, and I'm not saying that the design is digitized poorly or anything. It's done perfectly, and that's the point. It's done perfectly. So this design is not going to work for our multi-hooping. It's just not going to work. It's a gorgeous design, so make sure you use the right size for the hoop that you have. Okay, so these are some of the designs that are built in with Hatch. So why don't we pick one of these ones? So let's double click on that to open it. And what a cute design. Now you see it's a stitch file and it brought it in in all the pieces. So make sure you check for that because once you start doing the multi-hooping, then you, you lose your resequence. So, and multi-hooping is a bit complicated. You gotta try it a few times to get the idea of it. If you're doing layered designs, it gets a little more complicated. So you have to plan it out a little bit better but we're just gonna do it on a simple one. So pick your hoop, and we are gonna do the small four by four hoop on this one. Automatic centering, it doesn't even matter. And we want the hoop to show. So, okay, we've got our hoop. Um, sorry, whoops, I clicked on that. Obviously it doesn't fit. So say if I have a four by four hoop and I really want this to work, what am I gonna do? So let's go to multi-hooping and let's add another hoop. So we're gonna add one here and look, that's all covered. And we're gonna add another hoop and you see the, the hoops are color coded and which helps quite a bit. Now that didn't quite cover everything. We're gonna go up a little bit more. Okay, so you can see that it's a bit tricky to do and you do have to play around with it. Why don't we change our hoop size to just a little bit bigger so it's only two hooping so I don't have to do too much. That almost has it, almost has it. So let's try a different size. To me, that's just gonna be too long for my video. Now, look, we've got it. Let's delete one hoop and it deleted all of them. So look, it actually almost makes it into that hoop. So I'm gonna try it here, add another hoop here, and we have all green. So that's what you wanna see, all green. And I am gonna be able to stitch this out completely, properly in two hoopings. So yay, finally I got it. So a little bit of work, a little bit of playing around. Let's calculate the hoopings. All objects in designs are covered by hoops, yay. So we need to do two hoopings on it. That is fantastic, that's what we wanna see. Now, the next step, we need to out, output the design. So we're gonna export the design because we want it saved in a couple of spots, right? In two different versions. We want one hoop and the second hoop. So let's go save. And there we go, it's calculating it out. There we go, that's what we get. How cool is that? So the first hooping is this, the second hooping is that. And we added the registration mark, so we are going to be able to do that quite nicely. So we want to save all now. You can show all hoops if you want, but let's go to save all now. All hooping files were saved and it's gonna save it in one and in two. Now, another thing I think you should do, now this one's pretty simple, but I think if you had something a little more complicated that you should print it out and I will have that for the next video and it'll I'll talk about what the printout is. So print it out, 
we've got all this set we've got it saved and it's going to be part one and part two and we are going to take it to the machine in the next video so thanks everyone for watching i hope this is a good start to multi-hooping the second video where we're going to stitch it out and line everything up will be released right after this one so you'll be able to do both at the computer and at the machine so thanks everyone for watching don't forget to like this video and comment to let me know you want more videos just like this thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye